Hi guys and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl Ruka. And Big Boy Summer here. We're bringing you an episode talking about our journey with All Might so far in My Hero Academia. Is he a hero? Ooh, I forgot that was the question. <laughs> oh. Well, um, hmm, what do you think? Well, do you want to hear what I think? What? How do you want to go about this, Ruka? I mean, he's the symbol of peace to everyone except for Endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> you know he has fought for his whole life for the general public yep he works really hard yep even when he pushes himself he is still there fighting to be there for everyone and also he understands the mentality of the villains and so he knows that he can't just sit down and rest kind of thing he's got to keep it up so in that sense you could consider him a hero. Okay, so quick disclaimer, guys. We're not up to date with My Hero Academia. We're about 68, 69 episodes in. Right, which is season four. Which is literally at the halfway point. The internet is wild, in it? So there's certain things that's already been fought for, blah, 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 whatever. But so far, I hear what Rook is saying, but I kind of want to be the devil's advocate here. You put the whole of society on your shoulders with no backup plan, no contingency, and then you got tapped. You got murked in the chest and you're getting murked right now. You literally can't even turn into big old Mike for more than a few seconds at the moment where we are. You chose to hand your power to a no quirk guy whose only characteristic was being a reckless idiot jumping into any fire that he saw to go and do what? What exactly was Deku gonna do? You know when Bakugo was um, getting done by that blobby monster? Yeah. What, what the hell was Deku gonna do, fam? Oh, I've come to save you with what, fam? Deku on the level. You gave this guy hopes and dreams knowing that it was gonna be an uphill battle for him to even come close to who you are. And you, All Might, said you had no quirk. But really and truly, I don't believe you work as hard or even have ever had to work as hard as Deku has had to to get to this point and my guy can't go more than 8%. Are you a hero fam or are you just living the high life with this humorous and endeavors right you're really a dickhead? I actually have a laundry list of reasons for why he's not a hero. Go on then, let's fold him. So <laughs> He didn't help Deku when he didn't know how to handle that quirk and was completely destroying his body. He just kind of said, you'll be alright, you'll figure it out, see you later. He didn't actually help, it actually took Recovery Girl to say, do you know what, I'm not doing this anymore. You need to talk to him because he can't keep doing this, this is dangerous for his body. He didn't even help him to sort of figure it out, do you get what I mean? He didn't tell Deku about the danger that he was actually inheriting when he inherited the power. Yes. Because, yes, we know that as heroes, you are going to have to come against villains and stuff like that. But this is coming against the worst villain of all villains at the moment. I don't know if there's anyone like worse, but right now, this guy is really running things right now with all of the villains. Everything is his plan. The villain that doesn't die and the villain that just accumulates quirks. Um, and can give them to other people. Just just like that, boom, boom, boom. You didn't tell him anything, and I feel like if you're talking to a child, how old was Deku at the time, like 13? Something like that, who cares? You're telling, you're, you're telling a child to inherit the quirk, and yes, he because he wants to become a hero, he's gonna say yes, but you didn't tell him what was actually at stake and what would be on his shoulders. Yeah, it's, it's weird, like, it's a mad indoctrinating kind of situation. There's this thing that a child wants so bad, but you're giving a child adult responsibilities. Do you get what I mean? That makes no sense. I mean, in anime world, it does kind of make sense. Cause... No, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> we just watch it because it's entertaining. But if you actually deep it, yeah, oh my, you're a jerk for this. On a level, you are an actual jerk. And there's a guy there who's been training and his quirk is super fire, fam. 
man can face through walls, clothes, doors, everything. And he's kind of OP. He puts the work in. He smiles all the time. He's basically you. Yeah, pretty much. He could have used your power more. I'm just saying. Speaking about that, first of all, he didn't even meet with him, which I think was really ridiculous. You could have easily tracked Deku down at any time if you reckless. wanted to choose to give him your quirk. You just did it on a whim. You'll supposedly have been searching for this successor. You've been searching, searching, and then you just gave it away on a whim. You didn't really know who Deku was at all. He could have wanted to be a hero and had all these beliefs, but he could have been really twisted in a different way, but you didn't even try to figure that out. And then you didn't tell Deku about him knowing that they were going to the same school. And so at some point, they're going to run into each other. That could have actually been another person that was against him. Luckily, he's a really nice guy. So from what we can see so far. So far. But this could have gone so left. So left. All right, look, look, look. Do you know what's even worse? How many times have we done this dance, all might? Ah, oh, something really important. I'm not going to tell you, Deku. Deku goes and gets into some Ha, huh. oh my, why didn't you tell me? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll tell you now. What well, after this? Is that what happened, fam? No, what he usually how says. How many times? How many times? No, time. no. What he usually says is, "I didn't think I needed to tell you," and then he tells him. That is so disrespectful. First of all, and you're right. Like when Deku was going for his work placement, he didn't tell him that this guy didn't want to accept you because he didn't think that you were worth the quirk at least let him know what he's getting into every time he's already got so many stresses because literally the whole villain world is against him and the hero side is against him because they want to overtake him so he is literally a target for everyone so you not giving him these little bits of information that are very it's very important and can be very helpful is just there's no reason for it you're not making him stronger you're making him weaker because he has no time to rest does Deku even know about Shigaraki from? I can't remember. I actually can't remember if he told him that he actually has a relation to his the person who had all for one before him. I don't even know. Yeah, but it would be canon if he didn't tell him though, wouldn't it? It really would. <laughs> but, okay. Look, I know we've been shitting on All Might this episode so far. But All Might so far has got some good qualities. Like, you know what? Even though he's retired, He's still trying to do his thing. He's still jogging. He's still there as, a, as an ear, not just to Deku, but to Bakugo as well. Bakugo needed All Might, and Bakugo blamed himself for All Might's situation. And if All Might wasn't the person he was, he would have never been able to get through that. I would say All Might is actually a good teacher. When it actually comes down to the, um, the setups that he has for his classes and how involved he gets all the students and he plays on their weaknesses so that he can strengthen them. Yeah. He is a very good teacher and he does care about the kids. I wish he was a little bit more on the emotional side in terms of what the kids needed because Bakugo is one of those characters that could easily be a villain. Yes, hands down. So he needed a bit more care, especially from All Might, but I feel like All Might was kind of, he doesn't know how. The thing is though, the question today wasn't, is All Might a good teacher? I honestly personally think he is as well. Is he a good hero? When it comes to the practical, pragmatic side, yeah. He saved the day. He's not lost a single person yet or whatever. Actually, he said he has lost someone, but not too many people. He's got a good track record. But for the grand scheme of things and for the world and like for the actual entirety of the MHA universe, it's like having the Achilles heel in it. Yeah, you're strong everywhere else, but like you're one big giant target, like Ruka said, in it. You had no contingency. Like your your contingency was a guy who hasn't had the quirk ever in his life. He don't even know what to do with it. Eight percent. Hey, what the f you gonna do with eight percent? Bad move, my all my bad move. For me, it's not even that. For me, it's the fact that I personally think that all might is too self-serving to be a hero. As far as I know, there hasn't been a symbol of peace before All Might. And instead of him trying to be more cohesive and make the heroes in general the symbol of peace, so that it didn't have to be that he was there, so that if something happened to him, it could continue. He actually has created this mess, if you will, in the first place by wanting to have it all on him, all eyes on him, I am here. And then he's also got the heroes against each other because now there's this huge competition amongst them and now some of them don't even like each other. 
why aren't you working together? Why weren't you trying to have a different dream? Why does it have to be that you're the symbol of peace? Because now that's why we're in this mess. If he had made it all the heroes, there wouldn't be so much stress on Deku at the moment. There would still be the stress because All For One would probably still be gooding for him anyway, as it was. But all the other things could have just been a lot better. And I know it's not all his fault because it's really the schooling. They do kind of put them against each other. I'm sure they've been doing this for decades. From quite existed they've probably been doing this and indoctrinating the kids and everything but it still doesn't explain why you wanted to be the symbol of peace alone look ambition is a wonderful thing everyone tries to be the best it just so happened it was him i can't blame man for that but you're right it's like messi passing the ball messi passes the ball all the time because yeah all eyes are messi but he knows that he's not 11 man in it on the pitch sorry football reference uh, but people know what i mean Look, at the end of the day, yeah, he's a hero. Is he a good hero? No, but he's a hero. Still saved them lives, and he still did them things, and he's still now working to try and save people still. Really? He's a hero. So uh, we just insert Dave Chappelle here. He's a hero. He saves people's lives. But in order to save people's listen, lives... Listen, 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 he, listen. Oh, okay. Listen, 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 listen. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Fair enough. Look, just add it to the meme later. Look at that joke up. <laughs> put it in the video, put it in the video. It's fine, it's fine. Look, I do not think he is a hero. <laughs> just a couple of packs, just a couple of he packs. He is not a hero to me. I don't think he's a hero. He's more like a narcissist with powers. Please don't spoil it under this. I no, we can't tell people not to spoil it. We're on season four. If ever people spoil it for us, that's on us because there's about eight seasons. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> Do what you're doing. <laughs> I ain't reading your comments, so. <laughs> I'll still read them. So there you have it. Big Boy Simon thinks that he is a hero and I think that he is not. Maybe the rest of the seasons will change our minds. Let us know in the comments what you lot think. You know what, actually, don't do that. Yeah, let us know in the comments. <laughs> we love to read them. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Peace.